Both wolves and wolf dogs are just built for cold weather and snow. As you can see, we got a little snow last night, and these guys are just laying right out in it. They have no problem laying right on top of the snow and getting a good sun bath. My wife sometimes says, oh, poor babies, we need to bring them inside. They look cold. But no, that's just not the case. They love the cold and the snow. Wolf dogs do real well in the snow. Um, they have, you can see here, really, really, really thick coat of fur. That's solace for you. They have um, two coats. They have this outer guard hair, and it's got an oil on it. It keeps them dry, and then they've got a really thick undercoat that um, protects them from the cold, as well as the moisture and snow. Um, but the water and um snow will just kind of drip right off them like a duck feather sort of because of that oil so they're quite happy just hanging out in the snow they obviously don't want to be inside there's Waylon. he's just chilling out having a good time um they've got this area over here where it's dry if they want to get into it with hay and out of the wind but they really prefer this right here um they really like cold weather and they're just you can see they're just lying right in the right out in the snow and this is this is how wild wolves do as well you can hear my pit bull sadie in the background barking it not sure what it is but you can see they're just walking along beside me just like a group of dogs would. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Atta boy. Come on, bear. Bear's my high content. He's definitely mostly wolf. They've been out here playing for a while, so they've kind of sniffed everything out. And it's getting later in the morning, so they're kind of chilled. You can see their footprints and you know see how big these their paws are and how well they get through the snow. Come on guys. Come on Silas. Come on buddy. Come on Silas. That a boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Say hi to everybody. Tell them to contact Deb Highland too and stop the wolf hunts in Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Hey, Waylon. You can see they've been really checking it out this morning. They, like I said, they've been out here all morning. Luna, as you know, is my female. She's the smallest, but she's the female, so she's the boss of the pack. You can see other videos. I've got a Luna. Um, she's pretty well trained, can do some pretty neat tricks. But she's got a significant amount of German Shepherd, but she's still got plenty of wolf and plenty, well, very well able to handle the snow and the cold weather. And this is my big play area that I have surrounded by a Premier One electric net fence. Gives them several acres to play in exercise, which is really what they need. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Again, you can get a real good look at this fur right here. This is bear. 
like high content. You can, I mean, this is just massive amounts of fur, guard hairs, and um, undercoat. And um, come springtime, this stuff will just start falling out, and this coat will get a lot thinner than it is now. And um, <laughs> we'll be we'll be doing a lot of brushing once the weather warms up. Right there, Silas, my two puppies. I'm gonna go back inside now and um, get Dobro, my husky Malamute, and let him come out here for a little bit. Come on, Dobro. Dobro's my husky. He's gonna come play with him. Come on, Dobro, let's go. Go, bro. Well, Dobro decided he didn't want to go out in the first place. My wife Jennifer just drove up, so now they're getting excited about that. They love to see Mama when she comes home. They're all happy. The snow is won't last long today as the sun's coming out and the weather's warming up. But um, anyway, we'll let them sit out here and enjoy this weather while it lasts, enjoy the snow while it lasts. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.